Hello again, Leopard fans. Welcome back to GoLeopards.com. Matt Panto here inside Kirby Sports Center as we get set for the 2012 and 2013 Lafayette women's basketball season. A strong nucleus coming back for this team. They'll kick off the season on November 9th as part of a triple header here inside Kirby Sports Center. But before that happens, we had a chance to catch up with head coach Diane Nolan getting ready for her third season here on College Hill. Well, uh, I think the last two games certainly gave us some confidence. We thought that we uh, really were gelling and we did springboard from those two games right into our postseason. We knew postseason, uh, we knew what to address. We had a better sense of what we needed to accomplish. Uh, obviously, our outside shooting needed some uh, work. Uh, we needed some work with our, our ball handling skills, and we really did some intensive uh, offensive work in the postseason. First couple of days of preseason, we really wanted to uh, get in, in the best condition possible. You know, we thought sometimes our shots were a little shy because our, we didn't have the legs and the arms going into uh, the mechanics of the shot. So we really focused on getting stronger, getting in the best condition possible and then really getting our mechanics properly set in the preseason. I'm really excited but with the nucleus uh, of, of the team as you mentioned I mean having uh, Emily Holman as rookie uh, of the year uh, coupled you know that one two tandem with Daniel Fiaco and then uh, we had some good play from Maddie Fayan, Linnell uh, Macklin, Maddie Peabody, Bria Freeland, you know Ashley uh, Springer, uh, Leisha Manning they all kind of contributed. We also now will have Kelly uh, Lockney eligible you know, put her with, with Sam Jordan and Kristen Little. You know, we, we've got a really nice nucleus of a team. They really seem to be enjoying each other. You know, they're bringing energy and encouragement to each other instead of zapping it from one another. And I think that's the biggest change uh, that we have seen. I think they're very comfortable with each other. They've certainly embraced our, our, our rookies. You know, our four freshmen coming in have, have really been able to mesh quickly. And they, uh, as I said, they, they seem to uh, enjoy one another and, and have, uh, have fun together. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they both are used to being uh, in that five spot, both uh, really uh, commanding in the low post, having a, you know, a very strong presence. To defer to each other and to learn each other's strengths and weaknesses on each individual offensive possession took some time, and we knew it would, and they now are, are certainly more comfortable with one another. Uh, I see a, a really uh, increased intensity in defense. Uh, you know, we scrimmage, we have practice guys that come in, and many of the practice guys are returnees also, and they have mentioned that our intensity in defense is a lot stronger. It, we play defense throughout the shot clock. Uh, everyone is rebounding, uh, we're, we're jumping passing lanes. We made it an emphasis on steals. You know, we want to get some easy buckets through our defense, and, and our ladies have really done a nice job with that. Uh, probably our, our offensive uh, uh, intensity and being able to read defenses. We have a lot of options. We right now have 15 healthy bodies. So one of our challenges will be to mesh everybody to play to everyone's offensive strength. So over the next two weeks through our two scrimmages, we're going to learn when the lights go on what people can do. And once we really have that under control, uh, I think this team is really going to be fun to watch. They're going to be uh, tough to play against and uh, just really, uh, really focused. Our theme this year is first four. You know, we wear it on our, our wrists with our wrist bracelets. Every time we meet, uh, we end our practices with one, two, three, four. And uh, we really want to finish top four of the league and host that tournament game.